All right. How Trump can save his reelection campaign. All right. Because I think it, yet we have to start by identifying what the problem is here. Here is the problem right now. Trump does not look like this guy. He doesn't look like this guy. Um, right now, Donald Trump looks like that guy, uh, Jimmy Carter. Okay. Uh, a guy who just cannot get control of his own country and administration, his own message. People don't want to vote for wimps. They just don't. Uh, they want to vote for who they thought Trump was heading into this year. So here are three things that I think he can do to save his reelection campaign. Number one, go on a national tour promoting reopening. Reopening is the message. Become the champion, the symbol of reopening America. Go full throat MAGA. If we can have massive demonstrations against the country, then we can reopen the country. And it is time to give America back to the American people. That's number one. And these are in order. That's the first thing he must do. Number two, restore law and order. Crush Antifa with an emphasis on crush. Crush Antifa in Seattle ruthlessly. Make an example out of them on camera. Put down all future rioting ruthlessly. A recent poll found eight out of 10 Americans are in favor of this including a majority of blacks, Hispanics, and Democrats. And a majority of Americans also think, quote, defund the police is stupid because it is. It's stupid. All right. Once you've done those two things, once you have reopened America and law and order is restored, now you have normalcy and that will force Joe Biden and his dementia out of hiding. Trump needs and wants the American people to see who the alternative is. He wants that contrast, okay? Or who the alternative in Biden's case no longer is because the guy's just not with it. He's got dementia. But right now, they're not getting that contrast. Instead, what they're getting is Trump on the national stage all by himself while Joe Biden's been allowed to hide for over 80 days. Now, I think if he does these three things, President Trump can turn this around pretty quickly, but President Jared Kushner can't. So it is time to find out right now who's really in charge.